Na 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 na. Hey hey hello. Welcome to episode three of the Managing Your Macros podcast. I'm your host John Dow, the Boston architect, one half of the Architects of Aesthetics, building a better you. This is a quick and easy newbie guide to nutrition. Definitely not meant to be comprehensive. Think of it as a way to whet your appetite of nutritional knowledge, give you a good sample, gives you a good taste so you don't get overwhelmed by everything that's out there. So when we talk about macros, we're talking about the macronutrients, your fats, your carbs, and your proteins. That's really going to impact your body to achieve the result that you're looking for. Whether it's slimming down, losing weight, toning up, bulking, all of that stuff. Is dependent on macros. If you want to get in touch with me, you can always tweet me or follow me on Instagram, A-O-A-B-B-U. You can also visit the Architects of Aesthetics Facebook page. You can also check out the official Architects of Aesthetics website, that is www.architectsofaesthetics.com. There you'll find the podcast show notes, and that'll include anything that I forgot, plus an expansion of what I'm discussing per episode. Last time I compared macros to a monetary budget, your finances. Whenever you're earning money, there's things you gotta take care of, your bills, your kids, that sort of thing. But then you also have play money. Sometimes we go over our play money, sometimes we don't take care of our bills, and there are consequences to be had. Same thing goes for your fats, proteins, and carbs. Got a listener question from Aaron Spagnolo. Check his website, aaronspagnolo.net. He is the premier wedding photographer in Boston. He wants to know, what is the perfect fruit? Now, in terms of personal preference, I like strawberries, I like mangoes, and uh, Fuji apples and Asian pears. That is the stuff right there. I think prior to having a Fuji apple, I always thought apples sucked, and that's because I always had a Red Delicious. Very inappropriate name for that fruit. What else would be comparable? Uh, I want to be your girlfriend, just friends girl. See? Doesn't even make any sense. You can't lump those two together. Red delicious apples, not delicious, not even really red, it's more like a maroon. But again, notice that I said personal preference, because this idea of perfect, that's something that you need to watch out for in your diet. All too often, we demonize certain foods, and on the flip side, we idolize certain foods. Probably you've heard the term superfood, and the key thing to take away from this Yes, there are superfoods that are out there that are healthy. Yeah, there's superfoods that are great for you. Sure, we should all be eating a whole bunch of more vegetables, that sort of thing. Yes, there is such thing as healthy fats. But including that stuff in your diet without taking care of the rest of it, that's not going to save you. It's, um, I remember a long time ago, I think it was Jack Black, he had this bit. He would go to McDonald's, order a bunch of chicken nuggets, burgers, and fries, get ketchup, because ketchup on fries, that's like two vegetables in one, and then he would order a large Diet Coke. The Diet Coke isn't magic. It's not going to counteract everything else that you're putting in your body. And I also want to be clear that, sure, McDonald's isn't the healthiest of foods, but again, incorporating macros there's a way to fit it into your diet if that's what you really love, that's what you really enjoy. You just gotta watch the overall proteins, fats, and carbs. What makes fast food difficult is that it's really easy to blow through your fat budget in a single meal. But this brings me to another important note. Keep in mind that macros isn't a specific type of diet. It's a way to utilize your diet. It's a way to consume your calories. So again, not putting too much stake into what is good and bad food, black and white. It's how we incorporate it into the total sum. I remember at a campfire, Aaron tried to have me talk to one of his friends about nutrition. It was a disaster. She was someone who was really hyped up on fruits. Again, I love fruit, but watching your carbs, and again, my budget's like 200 grams of carbs a day, If I'm eating an excess amount of carbs through fruit, I'm still eating an excess amount of carbs. And I know that can be frustrating for people, people who are trying to do the right thing. They're trying to eat healthy. As I mentioned last time, pick one thing at a time. 
So for some of you, maybe you don't even want to worry about macros just yet. That's fine. I just want to mention the importance of macros because down the line, if you're getting frustrated, you're eating all this quote unquote healthy food and you're not really seeing the results that you want, then that's going to be the time where you need to step back and look at your macros and track them. Be consistent with them. So again, the frustrating aspect is you can still get fat, overweight, be unhealthy despite eating healthy foods. The weird positive flip side is it's very possible to slim down and get a better figure despite eating stuff like fast food. Again, it all plays into your macros. Are you hitting your budget right? Now, I, I do want to add looking good and feeling good. Even though we should strive for both, pursuing them, they can be separate things. Uh, let, let, let me qualify this here for a second. So a couple years back, one of my cuts, my diet consisted of chicken, popcorn, and gummy candy. I lost the weight. I slimmed down. I hit my macros. You can hear it already. Popcorn and gummy candies. I'm probably missing a lot of vitamins and minerals. I didn't feel bad necessarily, but did I feel my best? Also probably not. There really is a lot that goes into all of this. And if you pursue everything at once, you're gonna get overwhelmed. So again, figure out what you wanna do. Start off with filing down the fats, containing the carbs, pushing up the protein. Stick with that, be consistent for a couple weeks. Pretty sure you'll see good things happen. So since we've been talking about it for a while, let's talk about the macros for fruit. I think fruit's pretty easy to track because the carbs are basically all the same. Your average piece of fruit, whether it's an apple or an orange or a banana, gonna be about 30 grams of carbs, zero fat, zero protein. Smaller fruit, about 20 grams. Bigger piece of fruit, 35 to 40 grams of carbs. So if you love fruit, very easy to incorporate on a daily basis. If you don't like fruit, now you have 25 to 35 grams of carbs that you can spend elsewhere. I will point out that it's better for you to eat your fruits in terms of macros, because if you're drinking it, if you're drinking juice, it's always gonna be a higher carb count. Plus, it's always easier to down liquid calories. Let's take uh, Tropicana No Pulp Orange Juice. I'm using these numbers from my fitness pal. One cup. 26 grams of carbs. How many of us stop at one cup of juice? I know I don't. A cup's not even that much. You might be thinking you're being real healthy. You drink two cups of orange juice. That's about 52 grams of carbs because you really bank on the fruit aspect. Fruit is healthy. I got my vitamins there. Meanwhile, John over here, he's eating a Snickers bar. Snickers bar has 33 grams of carbs. That's a lower carb count than the juice. Snickers bar also has 12 grams of fat, but hey, if I'm on top of my fat, no biggie, no worries. The bottom line, once again, don't put too much stake in claiming a certain food as completely evil or completely good. It's how you work it, flip it and reverse it. All right, I think that's all the time we got for this episode. Questions, comments, any disagreements? You don't have to take what I say as gospel. Feel free to add to the discussion. Again, you can tweet me, AOABBU, get me on Instagram, hit us on the Facebook page, or email us, AOABBU at gmail.com. Thanks for your time and listening. Go enjoy yourself some carbs.